Okay, so question number six from January 2014, International A Level IAL C12. Um, a logarithm question. Given that A and B are positive constants, from the positive constant, solve the simultaneous equations AB equals 25 and log to the base 4a minus log to the base 4b equals 3. Okay, so we have a couple of options. Um, one of the options we can do is to take what we have as in log form and change it, okay, into like exponent form. So let's, let's try with that first. Let's try and do this. We've got log to the base 4a minus log to the base 4b is equal to 3. Now, when you have two logs that are subtracted from each other to the same base, we can use the law of divisions. We can write this as log to the base 4 of a divided by b. Okay, And that's equal to 3. And I can rewrite this now in, in its normal form for logs. Remember, log to the base a of b equals c can be written as a to the power of c equals b. Okay, this is the base, this is the power, this is the result. So 4 is the base, 3 is the power, and the result is a over b. So you have 4 cubed, which is 64, equals a over b. So we can now say, we can rewrite that as, for example, a equals 64 times b. So we can keep that as one equation. The other equation is a b is equal to 25. So I can replace the a with 64b if I wanted to, to try and uh, simplify this. So if I, if I replace the a with 64b, substitution, and a b equals 25, if I take a equals 64b and replace this a with it, I'll have 64b. So that b is taken in the place of the a there, times another b. That's like a times b, 64b times b equals 25. And now I can try to solve it. Some, some space here. Okay, so we have here 64b squared equals 25. So I can say b squared is equal to 25 over 64. If I take the square root of both sides, I only want the positive square root because it says a and b are both positive constants. Okay. So I don't want the negative square root, I want the positive square root. The square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 64 is 8, 8, 8 is 64, so b is equal to 5 over 8. Okay, that's the value of b. And we want to find the value of a. Well, we know that a is equal to, tells us, we've seen that first equation, a is equal to 64 times b. So if we know what b is, we can say a is equal to 64 times b, which is 64 times 5 over 8, 8 cancels with 64, 64, 8 times, 8 fives are 40. So we can say A is equal to 40, and B is equal to 5 eighths. Okay, so those are the answers for A and B in this question. It's quite a simple one. You have to try to, you know, get rid of the logarithm, basically, by combining this into one logarithm using the division law, remember, if you have to log to the base, the same base of things which are being subtracted, you can write them as in one log to the, that base with those two things divided. And if you have log to the same base of two separate logs added together, you can combine them together as a single log by multiplying. Okay, log to the base 4 of A plus log to the base 4 of B would be log to the base 4 of A times B, and so on. Okay, so those are the laws of logarithms that we need to use. And then we just basically rewrite this in exponent form. So 4 to the power of 3 equals a over b. And then we can continue. And there we have our answers to this problem. Okay, thank you for listening.